Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest says it's normal to experience miracles every day. Ready to be normal? Hello, Sid Roth here with Kenan Bridges. And uh, Dr. Bridges and I have been friends for a long time. But you have moved into a new zone yes. in the spirit. Yes, I have. I mean, I could see it when you were doing some recording for yes. us yesterday. It's, uh, how long has this been happening? You know, it's been happening, I would say within the last year, the Lord has kind of just infused me with a new level of glory. Can believers walk in miracles daily? Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting, Sid. The, the reality is this, not only can we walk in miracles daily, but what if I told people that it was our inheritance that we do? Not only that, but in these days to come, Sid, we must walk in miracles. And so God began to show me this thing of, of a church, a, a body of believers that are really releasing the presence of God all over the earth, as you called it, actually, the, the global glory. And I believe that the, the glory of the Lord is about to cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. I read that somewhere. Yeah, it's in the Bible, something called it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's amazing. See, we're seeing it all over the world. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go where this message is coming across of the kingdom, people are seeing the most miraculous things take place in their lives. And the beauty of it is it's not just, it's not just people with titles and people that are authors or TV figures, but uh, mothers and teachers and, and people that work in regular fields of endeavor are seeing the miraculous explode in their lives. You had a vision of Skittles, the candy? Yes, Skittles was my favorite candy growing up. So it, it, it only stands the reason God would use that to speak to me. And in this vision, it was just a beautiful field, just plush field and golden. And all of a sudden, these Skittles began to rain from heaven all kinds of flavors, all kinds of colors. You were in heaven. I, that's heaven for me. <laughs> I, I know there are going to be Skittles in heaven. And, and as, as, as these Skittles began to fall, God began to speak to me because I wonder, what is this? And God said, this represents my ridiculous favor and my miraculous provision on, on his body of believers all over the world. We're about to see an outpouring of favor like we've never seen it before, an outpouring of miraculous provision like we've never seen before. And God says that, that his children are gonna taste his sweetness and his goodness like we've never experienced in our lives. So we need to get ready. And Sid, this is the beauty of all of what I'm talking about. This is not just for me. It's not just for you. It's for every person under the sound of my voice right now. It's for those watching us. And I believe if we will come into agreement that God is saying to his people, there's no more excuses. There's no more limitations. In fact, I want to read this word that the Lord gave to me, and I want to read it quickly uh, for our, our audience. This is what the Lord woke me up and he said to me, he says, I've called you into intimacy. I've called you to look into me and see, see my heart, see my purpose, see my plan for your life. It's time for you to turn away from fear, to turn away from pride, and I will bring you into what I call the manifestation of now. The realm of impossibility is opening to you in a fresh way. Get ready, an explosion of glory is here. That's what the Lord said. But you know what? There's something you teach. Actions activate the miraculous. Absolutely. Absolutely. Every miracle in the Bible was, was literally activated by the action of somebody who believed. 
You know, I'm, re I'm reminded of the woman with the issue of blood in, in the gospel account. And the Bible says she said within herself, today, today I'm going to be made whole. Today I'm going to receive my miracle. And she pressed through the crowd. You know, sometimes that crowd is not people. Sometimes that crowd is fear. Sometimes that crowd is family. Sometimes that, that crowd is environment. But you got to be willing to press through the crowd, whatever that crowd may be, and lay hold on God's power and purpose for your life. And when people act on the word of God in faith, it releases miracles. You know what I'm hearing right now? You're saying, stop looking back. You're saying it's a new day. Right. You're saying it's a new beginning. Right. You're saying, expect to hear from God. That's what you're saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. And it's happening right now. Pray right, right now. Father, in Jesus name, I release a fresh glory all over the place, wherever you're watching, right where you are. There's a tangible presence of God that's invading your space right now. Eternity is actually invading time. And guess what? The limits are removed right now. There's no more limitation. There's no more blockage. There's a glory explosion right there, right where you are. And you're about to see the manifestation of God's presence like you've never seen it before. I'm I'm telling you the glory's in this place right now and it's moving, it's moving, he's working, he's performing miracles in your life. Just receive it in Jesus' name. Here's what's going on. You're seeing something new even in financial miracles beyond what you've ever heard of. There is such a backlash on talking about prosperity yes. or, or fi finances yes. uh, that many have backed off and you say they've thrown the baby away with the dirty bath water. Absolutely. You know, just because something is misused doesn't mean that that something itself is wrong. You know, a lot of people have been hurt with the prosperity message, Sid. They've been manipulated, they've been abused, they, they've been mm -hmm. taken advantage of, and it's sort of left a dirty taste in their mouth. So here's what God is doing. God says, my new campaign for finances is not fundraising anymore, it's the glory. God is saying, I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> well, I mean, I, you told me recently you were at a meeting and all of a sudden, on, of all things, the offering, the glory of God showed up. What happened? You know, this is amazing, Sid. I'm in this meeting, and uh, the, the offering time is there, and uh, the glory just comes in. Nobody prompts anything. Nobody asks for a particular amount of money. None of that. We're just, we're just kind of in a worshipful mode before we can even say anything. The Lord comes in and does his own fundraising. And this is what happens. We see the book of Acts chapter four and five all over again, where the Bible says that when the glory came in, in, the, in, in the body of believers, that people begin to bring their, 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 their possessions and nobody lacked anything. And see, there was just literally an influx of people responding. Nobody's prompting them, but they're responding. And I'm seeing this all over the place where we go. It's, it's all over the place. Tell me about the uh, pastor yes. that was so turned off on uh, talking about money. Yeah, and, and by the way, let me, let, me, let me share with you, I was that pastor just a few years ago that was turned off, so I can relate. And I remember this young pastor, he came to me and he said, you know, I was so turned off by, you know, finances and things like that. He said, but he realized that he had inadvertently adopted a poverty mentality and a lack mindset. And I've been doing some teaching on the economy of God and he overheard it and he began to catch it in his spirit. And he went and he said, God, I'm sorry for having this lack mentality. I repent of this because I know there's abundance that you have for me. And when he did that, something began to happen. He's walking out of the church and somebody comes up to him and they say, Pastor, I don't know what it is, but I have to give you this. And they give him a check for $7,000. Then while he's crying over that, he's literally on his knees crying, while he's crying over that, someone else 
comes in the back room and says, where's the pastor? The Lord just spoke to me and said, I have to give him $10,000. Now, mind you, nobody has asked money from anyone. This is right after you t spoke revelation to him. When he got the revelation, it began to change his entire environment. But guess what? The next Sunday, he comes to church and a man says, Pastor, I've been sitting on this, but, but when you came before us and repented for a lack mentality, something happened. And they said, God told me to pay your mortgage for a year. <laughs> and they wrote him a check for $15,000 on the spot. Now, here, I want to say this here because this is important. When God does something and man's not involved with it, we can't, uh, we can't blame manipulation. We can't say that somebody's hands were twisted. But when God comes down himself and moves, no one can refute it. And I believe, Sid, that we're entering into a season of irrefutable miracles. I'm talking about the news stations are going to have to come and say, you know what? We were wrong. We were totally wrong about this Jesus thing. He is real. He's alive and he's moving. Yeah. God's about to do these kind of unusual miracles all over the place. And what I'm saying, Sid, this is a move of the spirit of God. We are in a move of God. It's not about to happen. It's already happening right now. Okay. You know, we have to have an attitude of expectancy because it's the attitude of expectation that creates the atmosphere for miracles. In other words, we have to live in anticipation every day. You know, every day I wake up, I say this. I, I literally say this out of my mouth. Something good is going to happen to me. That's what I say. When I wake up, something good is going to happen to me. But not only do I say that, I say something good is going to happen through me. Yes. So I'm not just a receiver of the miracle, but I'm a distributor of the miracle as well. Yeah. A lot of people that say, why are you so miracle conscious? What's the real purpose of miracles? See, miracles are not about impressing people. It's not about having a big social media platform. The purpose of miracles, the Bible says in Mark 16, and these signs shall follow them that believe. So miracle is God's advertisement plan to demonstrate the power of his kingdom above all other kingdoms. You see, miracles demonstrate that the God we serve is really alive. This is very, very important. We're never to follow signs, but we, we, we follow him and signs follow us. As far as physical miracles. Yes. Uh, if I speak the average place I speak and people are honest and I say, how many need a healing? Just about every hand goes up. You're seeing this even in your own church all over the place. Um, it, you were telling me about a disease. I still can't pronounce it. Uh, vitiligo or vitiligo. It's actually vitiligo. it's a pigmentation condition that basically reverses the, the pigmentation of the skin hmm. and it creates like these these spots all over the body. And, and, and mind you, it's, it's mostly cosmetic. It's not something that a person has to be healed of. I want to be clear of that. But this particular young man was in the church and and uh, his mother brought him and and I saw about I would say a third of his head was covered in this 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 pigmentation thing. And uh, I said to the mother, I said, God can fix that. That's all I said. I didn't, I didn't go through a long prayer. I didn't take him in a back room. I didn't rub oil all over him. Any of that. I just said, God can fix that. In two, when, when you said that, did you believe God was going to do it? Absolutely. Without a shadow of a doubt. He has to perform his word. You see, we have to say what he has already said. He said that he is the healer. He said that his word will not return void. So when we come into agreement with God, watch this, we qualify for what Matthew 18 says, where two or more shall agree, they'll have what they say. So when you agree with God, that's two or more people right there. When you and God agree, that's the majority. So what happened was this young man, this young man, when we said God can fix it, to everybody's surprise, it was totally reversed. In two weeks, it's totally gone. 
We have the pictures. We have everything. It was totally gone. Now, one of the reasons. Now, is there just out of curiosity, if she'd gone to a doctor, could she have had some medicine to cure that? No, absolutely not. No? No. Boy, that's a real miracle. Yeah. You see, a miracle is when God interrupts the natural course of human operation. It's when God invades our natural course of events. You, you, you had an explosion of miracles in Australia, creative miracles. Tell me about one. Yeah, I'm preaching in this meeting in Australia. It was very powerful preaching in this meeting. And as I'm preaching, I just kind of stopped and I had a word of knowledge. I said, somebody's eyes opening right now. But what I didn't know is that one of the guys in the tech booth had a, a very severe accident where his, his eyeball was actually detached from his brain. There was no tissue connecting the eye, and it was total blindness. For six years, he suffered from this condition. Well, and, was that medically treatable? No, that's not medically. They can't go and just reattach that. It, he was totally blind. There was okay. no, there was no uh, fixing it. And all of a sudden- It was either God or, or be blind. It was God or be blind. And so in that moment, literally, like a snap. This is the way he described it. There was a snap and something popped and his eyeball reattached to the brain supernaturally. And, and watch this. He, he starts shouting and he starts screaming and he starts jumping up and down. He says, my eye, my eye, my eye. And his wife thought he was going crazy or something because he's like, my eye. He's just kind of pointing. He's like, look, 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 my eye. And he has sustained that miracle till today. You know, when Keenan prays, and this is, it's not just him, it's for all of us. When Keenan prays, there is the glory of God, and he speaks God's word. Anyone can speak God's word. But in that glory, miracles erupt. When we return, I want Keenan to pray for miracles to erupt in the glory of God. Be right back. Call now and get Dr. Keenan Bridges' anointed brand new book, School of the Miraculous, and his powerful three-part audio teaching series, Ridiculous Favor and Miraculous Provision, plus his bonus book, 90 Days of Breakthrough. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9681. Keenan's anointed brand new book, School of the Miraculous, will bring you into a place where miracles are commonplace. Through this book, you will understand five keys to activating God's supernatural power. Overcome the obstacles of the enemy. Understand that God intended miracles not to be rare events for a select few. Learn how to develop a miracle mindset, operate in miracles, and establish a lifestyle in which miraculous events occur every day. You will also receive Kenan's powerful three-part audio teaching series, Ridiculous Favor and Miraculous Provision. This audio teaching series is based on an open vision that Dr. Bridges saw. It was literally raining Skittles candy out of the sky. God said to him, this represents ridiculous favor and miraculous provision that I, God, want to pour out upon you. Through this teaching, you will understand what God's favor truly is. Discover the blueprint to tap into ridiculous favor, unquantifiable favor. Understand how to activate God's favor and miraculous provision in your life. Keenan offers powerful, life-changing prayers of impartation and activation, prophetic words and declarations. Plus, you will receive his bonus book, 90 Days of Breakthrough. In this practical, power-packed, easy-to-read collection of 90 declarations, you will be empowered by the Word of God and the revelatory teaching of Dr. Keenan Bridges to release the miraculous in your life and receive the breakthrough that you need in the area of your future, your finances, and your well-being. Don't miss out on getting Dr. Keenan Bridges' anointed brand new book, School of the Miraculous, and his powerful three-part audio teaching series, Ridiculous Favor and Miraculous Provision, plus his bonus book, 90 Days of Breakthrough. This is an exclusive offer for our rich Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9681. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9681 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. You talk about 
in your teaching and in your writings, kingdom culture. Yes. What do you mean by that? You know, I believe in this particular hour that we're in, we have to adopt a kingdom culture. We have to adopt the culture of the kingdom, not just the culture of church or religion, but we have to adopt the culture of the kingdom. Paul said, he said, I didn't come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and power. The Bible says the kingdom is not in meat and drink, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And so there is a way of doing things that we have to adopt if we want to see manifestation in our lives. I would like you to lead people in a prayer for those that have never had experiential knowledge of yes. God, never been born from above, and ones that have, and, and, and also to repent the ones that have. Got gotcha. you. It wouldn't hurt for everyone to repeat this prayer. I'm going to repeat it after Kenan. You know, I want to pray for you right now. Um, the Lord gave me a vision where when I went to heaven in this an encounter, whether I was in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell, but I saw the face of Jesus, the most pure, holy, powerful face I've ever seen. His eyes were like flames of fire. And he said to me, tell my people there's so much more. And you may be one of those that, that really are wanting to experience more. I want to pray for you right now. Stretch your hands right where you are, all over this place. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are listening and watching me now. I pray, Father, that you would literally manifest yourself to them, make yourself real to them. That if they don't know you, just ask Yeshua, ask the Messiah into your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I repent of all sin. I repent of all sin. I declare. I declare. That you died for me. That you died for me. And I ask that you wash me. And I ask that you wash me. And cleanse me. And cleanse me. And make me new. And make me new. I receive you into my life right now. I receive you into my life right now. Now pray this. Say, Father. Father. I thank you. I thank you. That my heart is prepared. And my heart's prepared. And my life is open. And my life is open. To the manifestation. To the manifestation. Of your glory. Of your glory. Right now. Right now. Let there be an explosion. Let there be an explosion. Of miracles. Of miracles. In my life. In my life. And through my life. And through my life. In Yeshua's name. In Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. Kenan. There is so much presence of yes. God yes. all yes. over the set, yes. all over the congregation, all over uh, the people at home right now, uh, that if I want you to flow in releasing miracles. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, in the name of your son, Yeshua, you are the miracle worker. So we welcome the miracle worker right now to come and do miracles. Somebody's eye is opening, even right here in this place. Somebody with arthritis is being healed. Somebody with fibromyalgia is being healed. I release healing of anxiety and depression in the name of Jesus. I declare there's someone that needs a financial miracle. Heaven is invading your finances right now. The spirit of lack is leaving you right now in the name of Yeshua. The spirit of God is breaking out all over this place and the glory of the Lord is being revealed. I think that son is coming home right now. That prodigal son, that prodigal daughter, that child is being transformed. Your church is about to explode. Your business is being saturated in glory. Let me tell you, you're going to a new place and a new level. I release healing and miracles all over this place right now in Jesus name. What you have to do is you have to act on what you believe. If you've received a miracle, act like you're healed. Do something you've not been able to do before. Move your arms around. Come on, bend down if you're having back problems. As you begin to move, the miracle will continue to manifest. Action activates miracles. You gotta move and believe that it's done. I'll leave you with that thought. Action motivates miracles.